Hey you guys. Welcome to my journey. I just brought me a gallon for my juice. I have two now, two gallons. And I brought me a eye wash, a glass eye wash. Cornets. This is the brand on um, Amazon. And I'm eating great. And it's seedless, actually. I am making my teas at the moment. So, and it is around six something o'clock. And yeah, this is my distiller um, brand. I do not get promoted or I am not sponsored. That's what I meant. I am not sponsored on none of these brands. Okay. Just for you guys on other better living. This is the still water. Only drinking when you are detoxing. Decreasing, um, taking out minerals that are not nourishing you anymore. But do not drink this on a daily day basis. Um, but I do drink it at least once a week or once a month. And... I just put key lines in. And yeah. Um, my update. On the past. Um, five. And six day. Um, been rocky. I have not took. My second and third supplements. Since the first day of. My detox. Um, it's, it's hard. Um, it's hard taking it. It's hard taking it because it tastes so... It's unbearable. Um, however, I will still always be on the fruits. It's, it's just hard, you know? Um, so, I went to work today. And by me standing up all day, has took a total of my upper body part. Um, so, I feel like... Is it normal to work? I mean, to work on a... Um, on a detox like this, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel drained. I don't feel tired. When I do get like at night, of course I go to sleep and stuff. But um, I mean that's it. That's all I did. Yeah, I took something that's doing work time. And then I take the detox tea. Right currently, right now, around 6 p.m. at night, and I take it before I try to take it before 8. But now I'm waiting for it to simmer and finish. And other than that, I drink the remaining of the juice I have and I go to sleep or stay up a little bit, but go to sleep because I'm supposed to be bubbling. It said, boo. But y'all, key products is. It was pretty, it's good, like, but I keep pooping faster than I can accumulate, so I think my body is taking a toll of saying, like, oh, can you stop taking all this in and let me heal, like, the things I'm got to heal first and stuff, but over time, it will heal, and I am thinking about doing a 90-day without the supplements. I'm probably going to do, like, um, take, like, herbs for nutrients instead instead of detoxing so I stay maintain my energy so um so meanwhile I'll be definitely would consider once my 70 day over I will definitely consider doing the 90 days and I feel like 90 days is just wonderful because I know in the next two years or I'm probably going to do it next year but I'm probably going to really do 30 days in the next two years, I'm going to definitely do at least 180 days. On the fruit, I'll probably be on the raw diet. I will probably, yes, on the raw diet. This fruit diet is a raw diet. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't want to be on the juice. Because juice doesn't sit right with me. Because when you separate fibers from the juice, from the fruit, it will be like a sugar rush. And, um... It won't be good like it's just 
fibers are basically here to keep you full and help your digestive system to function how it's supposed to be. Um, other than that, I will be eating raw. Hope, not hopefully, I will be. I need to get that hopefully off my goddamn definition. But by in two years, I'll be raw and fit. But yeah, I am shedding body weight a lot. Let me show you guys my body. Okay. It's my old shirt. My thighs are good, but pretty sure. And then next time, I'm gonna give me some leggings. But, um, stomach still. It's a little flat, but it's not bad. Uh, I will be definitely um, doing more, more better than I am doing today. Because it's just, it was just making me feel like I'm going to die and throw up and like embarrassment. But other than that, I'm done. Um, basically, yesterday I took all my supplements, all of it. I pretty much just it was a breeze, and then everything else. It's good. It's good. Good. It was good. Um. Um. And yeah, that's it. Peace out.